Uh, hello everyone, good day. Uh, this is the last topic that uh, we will discuss now for this course, EBE 105. So this lecture is all about the groundwater. So under this lecture, we will be kanang discussing no about the base the basic concepts of groundwater uh, these geologic formations so under geologic formations the aquifers the aquiclude aquitars and spring no the difference between them the groundwater resources the groundwater engineering using the well pumping So this, to start with, now let's know uh, first the basic concept of the groundwater. So worldwide, more than a third of all water used by human comes from groundwater. In rural areas, the percentage is even higher. More than half of all drinking water worldwide is supplied from groundwater. Despite our heavy reliance on groundwater, it is kind of nature. Its nature remains a mystery to many people. Many find it hard to imagine that water can move underground at rates sufficient for agriculture you know, to supply for irrigation, human activities, and recreations, and etc. So we have a saying here you know, that's, uh, that says, Life depends on water. Our entire living world the plants, the animals, and humans is unthinkable without abundant water. So, it's significant on water. So, the water that uh, we drink you know, every day, partly or most of it, gikan sa groundwater. Groundwater is also very important. You know, it's because it, as it supplies sa itong mga springs, sa itong mga ponds, sa itong mga marshlands, Swamps, rivers, streams, and other uh, body of water, no nga dagag living organisms, no living organisms, mga humans, mga animals, na nagarili ana no nagarili ana for survival. So although it is out of sight, no dilin ato siya makita, like uh, stated here, the Despite our heavy reliance on groundwater, it nature remains a mystery to many people. Though out of sight siya, but still, no, dapat we know, no, dapat we know, we learn about the groundwater, how it is kanang part of the water cycle, and the importance of kanang protecting and maintaining it, no, maintaining the quality and quantity sa atong water resource, the natural, uh, natural water resource. There are many definitions of groundwater, no? Dagag meaning ang groundwater. But uh, generally, groundwater is defined as the water present beneath Earth's surface in soil pore spaces and in the fractures of rock formations. Other meaning, uh, groundwater is water that fills pores and fractures in the ground, much as milk fills the voids within bits of granula in a break fast bowl and we have also the similar main meaning ground water is uh, water that has infiltrated the ground to fill the spaces between sediments and cracks in rock ground water is fed by uh, precipitation so the sources of ground water is gikan na siya sa mga precipitation no? sa precipitation so it's either from the rain from the kanang mga na melt na snow or from the surface runoff no which ma percolate and ma, in, and ma infiltrate na siya and through geologic formations no through geologic formations makabuo ta o kanang groundwater so we have here no the kanang uh, another no another definitions of groundwater so it is fresh water that soaks into the soil and it is stored in the tiny spaces or the pores between rocks and the particles of soils. Groundwaters accounts uh, for nearly 95% of millions uh, of nations' freshwater resources. Groundwater is found in uh, two zones, the unsaturated zone or the Vados zone, immediately no, below the land surface that ma-locate, 
and it contains water and air in the open spaces or mga pores. And then the saturated zone. So it is a zone in which all the pores and rock fractures are filled with water underlies the unsaturated zone. So it means that the voids no, in the saturated zone are uh, completely filled with water. While sa unsaturated zone, uh, some of the voids aninila are not filled with water but also air. So the top of the saturated zone is uh, called the water table. The water table may be just uh, below or hundreds of feet below the land surface. So, ang water table sad is uh, an underground boundary between kaning soil surface and the area where uh, asa no, mag-saturates uh, mag, mag, mag ang mga spaces between sediments and mga cracks sa mga rocks. No? So, water table or ginatawag sa na, na to na groundwater table. So, ang soil and rocks diri are kanang permanently uh, saturated no, with water in this kanang uh, zone. Or space in sediments and rocks. So, ang um, groundwater flow na to, no underground or the groundwater mag siya no, if unsa ang kanang type sa pore space in sediments and sa to ang mga rock. So, there are many types of kanang pore space in sediments and sa to ang mga rocks. So, some of it is kanang consolidated sediment, dissolution of rocks, poorly sor sorted sediment, porous sediment, rock fractures, well sorted sediments so there are kanang mga rocks no there are rocks na kani permeable and impermeable so when we say kanang permeable no uh, refers ni siya sa kanang it refers to how well the well, how well the material kanang transmit water so it means that kanang uh, it means that the water can pass through a passable or can pass through or passable ba siya muna ang permeable so depende sa imuhang uh, pore space and sediments and types sa imuhang rocks no magdepende pod ang groundwater flow so uh, if you kanang look at the figure no below na atay kanang example here no nga gravel uh, kanang, ang gravel is permeable siya but uh, there are kanang pores pod no nga dili filled with water some of the pores pod niya is kaning filled with air so ingat na po ng karakteristik sa gravel na kaning na uh, type no sa uh, sediments so if you look at the figure no showing the the unsaturated zone, so ang water table, the saturated zone, no, the groundwater, or the groundwater, the water table uh, from this land surface, the surface water, no, so mo na siya ang kanang uh, location niya underground. So, ang um, um, groundwater side is stored siya in uh, tiny open spaces no between rock and sand rock and sand sa mga soil sa mga gravel so how well kana usa siya ka loose no arrange sa rock uh, how loosely arrange rock such as sa mga gravel and sa mga sand so it, example la na ang sand and gravel mga permeable siya no it can hold water depende sa size sa uh, rock particles niya so layers of kanang loosely arranged particles of kanang uniform sizes no such as kanang sand like i said tend to hold more water than katong mga layers sa rock with materials nga na ilahi nga sizes so this is because uh, smaller rock materials materials settle in the spaces between larger rock materials so naga decrease ang amount sa mga open spaces nga dapat maka-hold og water. So 
na asaday ka ng karakteristik no? sa kanang rocks or sa mga sediments no? nga kanang how will rock material hold water or atong ginatawag na porosity which is maka-affect sa siya sa shape sa mga which is affected by no the affected by the shape sa shape of rock particles so na ay mga round particles will kanang will pack more tightly than sa mga sharp edges so materials with kanang uh, na ay mga angular shape edges no edges uh, angular shape edges no has more open space and can hold more more water so for water to move through underground underground rock natay mga pores and fractures in the rock must be connected uh, with each other so if rock uh, have a good connection between pores or fractures and uh, na ashay and can have no can move freely through them we can say that the rock is kanang permeable, passable siya, no? So, na siya, if the pores or fractures are not connected, the rock material cannot produce water and it is therefore, no, dili siya makonsider nga aquifer. So, we have here very permeable, kanang mga sands and the gravels, permeable to moderately permeable na ating mga plastic sandstones, mga conglomerates, no? So mga type na siya sa mga stones. So not permeable kanang clay, mudstones and and fractured rock and permeable no kanang mga fractured uh, fractured mga rocks, fractured rocks. Aquifers, aquitars, aquiclude and springs. So aquifer is a geologic formation from which a significant amounts of groundwater can be pumped for domestic, municipal, or agricultural uses. So, when ground where groundwater can move rapidly, such as through gravel, gravel and sandy deposits, an aquifer can form. In an aquifer, there is enough groundwater that it can be pumped to the surface, to the surface and used for drinking water, irrigation, industry, or other canal uses. Aquifers get kanang water no from uh, precipitation, di cancer rain or sa mga kanang na melt na snow. So, kana sila ng mga water na filter na sila through the unsaturated zones. Aquifers can also receive from uh, receive water from mga surface waters like sa to mga lakes, rivers. No? So, when ang aquifer is full na, na full, the water table meets the uh, surface ground. So, where water stored in the aquifer can appear at the land surface as no monang mga springs, no monang mga springs or uh, seep. So, we have here the recharge areas uh, are where aquifers take in water. Ang discharge area sad are where the groundwater flows to the land to the land surface so water moves from higher elevation areas of recharge to uh, lower er elevation areas of discharge through the saturated uh, zone so we have here you now the recharge and then it flows down to the discharge from higher elevation to lower elevation from higher elevation which is the discharge to lower uh, elevation which is the discharge. The formation that acts as such a water barrier is called the aquitard. So if it is uh, much less permeable than a nearby aquifer but still uh, permits flow. Example ana is the sandy clay. So sa figure nakita ninyo kung asa dapit ang mga ang uh, mga uh, asa dapit ang aquitard. So, ang aquitard is kanang much less permeable siya, no? And, but still, maka-permit siya of flow. So, ang location sa aquitard, it's uh, between the unconfined aquifer and all, and uh, between uh, unconfined aquifer and confined aquifer. So, ang unconfined aquifers are 
kanang where the rock is directly open open at the surface of the ground and uh, ground water is directly recharged for example no kanang mga rainfall and mga snow uh, melt so ang confined aquifer sad is kung asa to mga uh, thick deposits uh, overlay no so of water and confine it sa earth surface or sa mga rocks so we have here if the water barrier is almost impermeable exa example an in clay and forms a formidable flow a formidable flow barrier between aquifer is known as aquiclude so all no uh, kana almost impermeable maka permits siya pun siya very uh, less na lang gid kaayo so mas majority nga dili siya maka kanang maka create siya formidable flow ginatawag nato na siya nga aquifer ang aquifer is uh, maka permits siya pun siya og low but less no but lesser ang aquifer no almost no dili na siya maka kanang permits og flow so example sa mga aquifer is kaning mga clay so, ang mga clay is impermeable. Example of impermeable. There are two types of aquifers, no? The confined versus the unconfined. So, as I mentioned kaganiha, ang um, unconfined has no overlaying aquifer or aquiclude. Uh, vertical recharge of an unconfined aquifer by rainwater or irrigation water that filters through the soil is not restricted. Confined is a sandwich between an aquitard above and aquiclude or aquitard. Uh, so, example, ana, uh, below the bedrock. So, because of the water table in the recharge area of the confined aquifer is much higher than the top of the confined aquifer itself, water is a confined aquifer is uh, pressurize the pres the pressurization means that the water level in the borehole drilled into a confined aquifer will rise significantly above the top of the aquifer ang an con ang confined aquifer is an aquifer na below sa land surface no uh, saturated with water so na ay mga layers na kanang uh, impermeable impermeable materials no and both uh, both above and below sa aquifer nga mag-cause siya uh, to be kanang under pressure. So that when the aquifer is kanang penetrated by a well, the water will rise above the top of the aquifer nga mag-cause of uh, flow sa isa ka well. And now the artesian well. So it is a flowing artesian well occurs where the pressure is so high that the water level in a well drilled into the confined aquifer rises above the land surfaces. In other words, an open well flows freely with no pumping. So ang artesian well, no, gika na siya sa mga water flows under uh, katong mga natural pressure, no, natural pressure without kanang any uh, pumping. So ang artesian well sad is kanang well, no, that uh, nagabring sa mga groundwater, nagabring sa groundwater into the surface without pumping. No, because it is under pressure within a kind of mga body of rocks or sediments, no, ginatawag na to nga uh, aquifer. So sometimes hydrologists, uh, hydrogeologists uh, use the term semi-confined aquifer in an aquifer acts uh, partly like a confined aquifer. So we have the springs, no, and springs from where the water table intersects with the land surface. For example, in a small depression, uh, common in, common on uh, mga hillsides. So, um, sometimes, no, mga spring is uh, mga body of water which is na ay kanang kumbaga no, na ay tubod. No, na mga tubod. So, usually, kanyang mga spring is uh, 
ginahimo na to nga mga taw gani ginahimo na to nga mga kanang tourist spot no because of kanang clear water gi uh, mga clear water no gikan sa ground water no? so himo siya clear it's because no continuous ang kanang flow sa water that is why no uh, very clear and mo nang uh, ginadayo siya or ginahimo siya nga mga uh, taw gani tourist spots Sometimes groundwater is forced into a spring because uh, because a low permeable layer of rock or fine sediments can clay keeps the water from uh, percolating deeper. So a spring may also occur where, where subsurface uh, pressure forces water to the surface through a fracture or a fault fault zone that acts as a conduit for water movement from a confined aquifer. Now the groundwater movement, so it is a kanang move from a higher to lower elevations and from location of higher pressure to uh, lower pressure. Typically, this movement is quite slow on the uh, order of less than one foot per day to a few tenths of feet per day. In groundwater hydraulics, uh, water pressure surface and water table elevations are referred to us as the uh, hydraulic head. So, a hydraulic head is uh, the driving force behind the groundwater groundwater movement. So, a groundwater movement is always in the downward direction of the hydraulic head. So, we have a figure here, no, uh, showing before the heavy kanang pumping and after the heavy pumping so this mga pumping can cause the ground water movement and it may cause to lower the water table and can cause depression so depression underground because the kaning mga ground water no nga naga move is always uh, pa down no pa downward direction so na mga negative effects sa ning ground water movement no it can can uh, uh, dry up no sa mga whales uh, it can do, uh, drying up sa mga whales uh, reduction of water sa mga streams sa mga lakes and also no makakausa ni siya og uh, deterioration sa quality sa water so groundwater movement in gravels and sands is uh, relatively rapid whereas it is exceedingly slow in clay or in tiny rock fractures it is because like i said no ang sand is uh, very permeable and ang, ang slow sand siya sa mga clay is because ang clay is na belong sa impermeable so uh, since no uh, passable man siya sa water that is why paspas ang ground water movement no sa mga sand or gravels na kanang type sa soil and uh, ang ground water movement sa sa clay no, or sa mga tiny rock fractures is very low, it's because no, impermeable ni siya ng mga types sa soils. So, the ability of geologic material to move groundwater is called the hydraulic conductivity. It is measured in gallons per day per square foot. So, katong mga pressure dito na, na, na ma-pump which can cause the movement is ginatawag na ito nga a uh, hydraulic head so na asay mga hydraulic conductivity no or kani mga material na kanang na ability no to kanang for the fluid to pass through the pores or sa yahang mga uh, fractured rocks so ang conductivity is nagadepende siya no sa types of soils that uh, found in that specific kanang uh, area or location. So, ang mga hydraulic conductivities is natay sandy, gravel, uh, gravely, gravely aquifers, no, nga na siya 1, 100 to 10,000 uh, gallons per day per square foot, no, to uh, uh, to kanang uh, or equals, no, so to 10 to 1,000 uh, feet per day. So, ang clay sad is uh, 0.001 gallons per day per uh, square foot and ang fractured rocks is 10 to 100 gallons per day per square foot no? or equal na siya sa 1 to 10 uh, feet per day. So, we have here the uh, ground water velocity 
No? The groundwater velocity is the product of hydraulic conductivity and hydraulic gradient with adjustment for the porosity of the soil material, usually from 5 to 20 percent. So, groundwater velocity is equal to hydraulic conductivity multiplied to hydraulic gradient over the porosity. So, uh, this is uh, ginatawag na to nga Darcy's law. So, name after the French uh, engineer Henry Darcy who first discovered this uh, natural law in 19th century. So, typically, groundwater velocity in a sandy or gravelly aquifer may range from 0.5 to 50 feet uh, per day. So, kanisyang no is na-discover lang ni siya ni Darcy, Darcy, Henry Darcy through kanang, kanang experiment. So, through that experiment, no, na-figure out niya na uh, ang ground na ay kanang movement no, or na velocity ang groundwater. So, ano siya nga, typically daw ang groundwater velocity in a sandy or gravelly aquifer may range from uh, 0.5 to 50 feet uh, per day. Darcy's Law, 1856, the theory on uh, groundwater flow. So, si Darcy was the first... Uh, to, uh, first, to discover no, through experiments with water flow through a tube daw to see kung sa daw kakapaspas no, nga nag-flow and uh, what are the controlling factors daw. So, he concluded that the groundwater discharge is proportional uh, to the difference in hydraulic head and cross-sectional area and inversely proportional to the length. Thus, na asyay kaning uh, formula, no? Kaninga formula. So, where K is the kaning hydraulic conductivity and V is the specific discharge and also called the kanang filter velocity. So, since the hydraulic head decreases in the direction of flow, the filter velocity has negative sign. The actual velocity of the fluid particles is much larger because only the effective pore space is available. Thus, no na asya uh, formula na kanang actual velocity nga kani. So, so Darcy put it all together with this formula no to simplify. So Q or the volume of water flowing to an aquifer is equal to K or the hydraulic conductivity. So can be based on the permeability and the fluid uh, viscosity and then multiply multiplied to A or the cross sectional area sa aquifer and then multiplied to uh, H kaning H1 no and then minus H2. So, uh, muna sila mga hydraulic reagents and then uh, divide by kaning D. So, si D or the distance no, through which uh, flows occur. There are two zones no can be distingu distinguished in which water occurs in the ground na atay uh, uh, saturated saturated uh, saturated zone no morning saturated zone and then we have the the morning unsaturated zone and we have the saturated zone so for the hydrologist daw both zones are important links and storage devices in hydrological cycle for the engineer the importance of each zone depends on the field of interest kung unsa ka engineer and then for agricultural engineer it is principally interested uh, principally interested in the unsaturated zone because no where the necessary combination of soil air and water occurs for a plant to live no uh, plant to live no for agricultural purposes so uh interesado no uh, kaninga zone no saturated zone no good is morning uh, uh, this zone is immediately below the land surface no so this is the kanang land surface and then after the land surface is the unsaturated zone so uh, like i said no it contains land uh, sur it contains water and air in the open spaces or sa iyang mga pores which is kana need no as an agriculture engineer need na to for our crops no, for our crops and for other agricultural purposes. No. So, the 
The water resources engineer is mainly interested in the groundwater which occurs and flows in the saturated uh, zone. So primarily, a mga water resource engineer is uh, interested sila sa saturated zone. It's because no, they want no, the quality, uh, quality sources of kanang water. So, so, kanina figure, no, it shows the kanang process or cycle no sa groundwater kung asa siya gikan asa sa paingon ug asa siya mubalik so surface water and uh, groundwater are part na medyo na siya sa hydraulic cycle so naay mga constant no constant movement uh, sa water above no sa atmosphere or sa above sa surface no and uh, also no below the ground so ang cycle has no beginning and no kanang end no like uh, I said, no, kutong mga una pa na tong lectures. So, ang um, cycle has no beginning and no end, but you can understand it, no, by kanang tracing or i atong i understand, no, uh, i trace na to from the precipitation. So, ang precipitation occurs in uh, several forms, di ba? Uh, we have the kaning rain, snow, hail, and rain, for example, no, uh, precipitation uh, through rain. Uh, wets the ground surface as more rain falls no ang water no begin siya nga uh, i-filter uh, i-filter niya sa ground so how fast ang water nga mag soaks no into or mag infiltrate sa soil uh, magdepende ang soil magdepende sa soil type so sa land use and also sa intensity or sa land sa storm so ang water mag infiltrate siya faster eh, into sa, into the soil if kanang if permeable ang mga soil no permeable or kanang mga sand no mga sand or gravel and uh, kanang if uh, dili sad no so water infiltrate faster into the soil that are kanang mostly sand no and into the into kanang those no that are kanang dili sad siya no dili kayo siya mo kanang kanang infiltrate if ang soil nimo is clay clay or kanang silt. So, almost kanang walay water no mag uh, filters kanang mga area sa mga paved areas. So, rain cannot be observed sa ground. Sa ground uh, collects on the surface no mo nang mag kanang form ta o makahim, maka form ta o kanang mga run off sa stream no if kanang dili sila ma ma infiltrate dili sila maka pass through the soil. So, mag-cause ana na makahimu taog, uh, makaform taog surface runoff na paingon sa mga streams. So, if ang soil is completely saturated na, additional water moves no slowly through, uh, through the unsaturated zone. So, to the unsaturated, to the saturated zone rather. So, na ay mga replenishing or recharging sa groundwater. So, katang ang mga water, mag-move siya through the saturated zone no, to groundwater ng mga discharge areas. So, na ay evaporation, no? evaporation na occurs uh, when water from such surface sa mga ocean, sa mga rivers, and sa mga ice, no? ice land is makonvert siya into vapor. And uh, together with transpiration from plants, no magrisea ito sa earth surface, no condense and then maka form siya ang clouds. So water from both a runoff and groundwater discharge, no magmove siya towards the streams as mga rivers and eventually no ma reach niya mga oceans. And ang oceans no mo na mga uh, largest surface of water bodies that kanang mag contribute no sa evaporation. So like I said, may mga plants no mga plants na maka-transpire sad, no, which is through that uh, root zones nila. Mga roots is maka kanang form sad o capillarize, no, maka uh, trans, uh, transport o water and uh, through transpiration. So, I have another definition here from uh, PAES. 
So, PAES, Groundwater Irrigation. So, I hope na familiar na mo anong PAES, no? So, ang PAES or the Philippine Agricultural Engineering Standard is uh, kibali mo na itong ano, mga Bible, no? As an agricultural engineer. So, daghan siya volume, no? Daghan volume and different nga mga series. Uh, it contains, no? Mga kanang agricultural engineering standards, no? Sa different na uh, kanang infrastructure no as a, sa related sa ABE so uh, PAS 231 no 231 2017 is all about groundwater irrigation the shallow tube well so na siya kanang definition no ang PAS na yan, other definition no so sa aquifer so it's a geologic formation which contains water and transmits transmits it at a rate sufficient to be economically developed for pumping with a well and confined aquifer is an aquifer where groundwater is confined or overlain by a relatively impermeable layer. According to PAES, no, na asya ay ka ng uh, giset, no, na site selection if mag, uh, ka na mag build ta og uh, well pumping. So, the site shall ensure adequate yield which can be reflected through uh, transmissivity, trans, uh, transmissivity and specific yield and meet the required irrigation water requirements. The site shall have adequate recharge of the aquifer, aquifer system such that there is enough quantity of infiltrating water or it is located at a reasonable distance from surface uh, water bodies. The water quality conditions of the aquifer shall meet the minimum quality requirements for irrigation water imposed by National Implementing Agency. So the site shall be an, at an area with low vulnerability to pollution and sea water intrusion potential. And lastly, the site slope distance from existing boreholes or wells and from physical discharge of aquifers shall be determined and considered. So actually, no, dapat at least 100 uh, di ko makaremember if 100 ba to or more than no dapat uh, uh, let's just say no na ay specific distance na if na akay uh, kanang well diri dapat uh, at least no 100 meters away no gikan sa mga uh, kanang nang establish ng well so because no na siya ay kanang tendency nga kanang dili ka maka pump og water dito it's because there is a well no nga existing na paingutanan so na siya ay kanang standard distance dapat no kung na existing well there a uh, no it's either uh, kanang it's either kanang working siya or not dapat at least no na i desired a uh, distance ka mag kanang build og another well no different types sa shallow tube wells so first is the dug well so it is used in unconsolidated uh, formations with with large diameters which permit considerable water storage so ang mga materials is wells are constru constructed through manual excavation using pick and shovel no well the loose materials are hauled uh, to the surface in a container. So, yung limitation is walls must be lined or braced during and after the construction. So, vulnerable to contamination from sur uh, surface or uh, surface no sources. So, ang dug uh, dug wells or excavated wells are shallow. No shallow lang siya. Typically, less than uh, 15 meter or 50 feet ang iyang depth. Uh, kalalo and also 1 meter lang or 3 feet ang iyahang wide no so muna example no kan sa figure so there are kanang relatively kanang an expensive no an expensive to construct because uh, they are commonly dug using mga uh, excavator no pwede sad manual manually lang so backhoes or kanang power shovels no so unfortunately no as stated nga shallow depth of kanang dug well make kanang vulnerable siya no sa contamination and susceptible no sa mga lowered uh, water levels from kanang drought so naa siya kanang 
neighboring well interference and local changes in uh, drainage. So another one, we have the board or the augured well. So it is used in formations with a very shallow water depths. So materials near wells are constructed using hand-operated or power-driven earth auger, while the loose materials collected in the blades are removed and the boring is repeated until the desired depth and diameter of the well is cannot achieved. So, nasha limitation, it should only be should only be used in formation that do not cave. So, otherwise, a casing is required to be lowered down the bottom of the wall. So, ang mga board wheels, no? board wheels or mga auger wheel, well, are kanang wells which are constructed with kanang na auger, no? No, na nagadig no until it kanang reaches the water table or maka encounter siya og material such as rock no nga gahi nga part na dito si lalong which restricts or nagasta or stops the auger so unlike sa drilled uh, well no ang board wells are shallow in depth and draw water from section of the earth above no sa uh, bedrock so kaning figure no kani is an example of no a uh, cross sectional kana uh, kana view no sa isa ka board auger so next is the driven well it is used in unconsolidated formation with uh, shallow water tables that can that contain not too many rocks so materials niya is consists of series of connected lengths of pipes driven by repeated impacts to the ground below the water table so water enters through the drive point of the lower end and the well with a screened cylindrical section uh, driving can be done with a mole sledge drop hammer or air hammer so national limitation cannot be used on formation with large gravel or rocks that may damage the dry uh, drive point no so joints between the pipes must be carefully made to prevent you no know, the breakage and ensure the right all airtight pipe system so kaninga mga wells are mainly suitable lang no for sandy formations which can be kanang dali ra siya maka penetrate no dali ra maka penetrate ang iyang well point kani so it cannot be put no dili ni siya pwede sa mga rock or heavy clay formation or sa mga hard pan mga coarse gravel or mga boulder rich uh, formation even in uh, mga pure sands no uh, the resistance of kana resistance to sinking no naga increase sa iyang depth so there is kanang application ang application niya is limited lang no sa mga limited to sites where ang aquifer is can be rich no may rich and exploited by kanang shallow wells no uh, at least less than 20 to 25 meters ang kalalong so na asya drive uh, kanang post driver no dari uh, driving point niya dari and uh, drive coupling and then muni uh, ang uh, well point so dari ang um, water level so next is the jetted well it is constructed by cutting action of a downward directed steam of water to excavate the hole and carry the excavated material out of the hole so kanisad na type sa well may be kanang may only be constructed no sa mga places where subsoil formation are humok or soft so soft enough to allow uh, to allow the technique no to work so naanish sa mga sandy alluvial formations are among no the most suitable aquifers for this nga kanang well so sands are easily displaced and in such formation wells may be constructed no dali ra siya ma construct by kanang jetting jetting than by any kanang other nga uh, type sa well so ang presence sa clay hard pan uh, hard pan or coarse gravel uh, gravel beds may kanang slow down no or maka impede sa drilling to continue so well jetting requires large amount of water so limiting its application in mga area no arid area so ang purpose aning kuan na asya temporary casing no kani 
Ang purpose and niya is to kanya is to prevent no the hole from collapsing. So na siya temporary casing is commonly uh, sunk in kanang jetting mga proceeds. Here, mga equations or formula no nga to ang gamiton to get the discharge no or or flow rate sa mga wells. So we have here the discharge no the discharge the required pump discharge uh, shall be computed based on the kani following formula. So kanisha no is gikuha ni siya based sa uh, uh, PAES 217 2017 uh, or uh, determination of irrigation water requirements no. So discharge or the QR uh, QR is the required pump discharge no. Uh, express in this kind of equation. So, QR is equal to uh, IWR or the irrigation water requirement over H or the number of hours of operation times 24. So, the maximum sustained yield or QS, no more siya ang maximum sustained yield that can be extracted from the aquifer uh, shall be determined using the formula. No, using the formula uh, under steady state condition in confined aquifers, money yang formula. So QS is the maximum sustained yield equals to 2 pi, no, 2 pi times K or the hydraulic conductivity times B, the aquifer uh, thickness times the uh, hydraulic gradient, no, or the gradient or the uh, the uh, piezometric water levels at R2 and R1 respectively over uh, LN, no, R2 over the uh, R1. So R2, R2 or R1 is the distance, the distance from pumping well to observation wells 2 and 1 respectively in meter. The kind of maximum sustained yield no, for unconfined aquifer. So, be careful ha. Lahi ang kanang uh, discharge no, sa confined and unconfined aquifers. So, be careful and be kanang, kanang observant no, kung unsang nga aquifers. Uh, confined ba siya or unconfined? So, for con unconfined, no, we have here no, the pi times k uh, times uh, uh, H2 squared minus H1 squared over LN uh, R2 over R1. An example here. So, first example, a 30 centimeter diameter well completely penetrates, no, completely penetrates a confined aquifer. So, confined aquifer of permeability 50 meter per day, the length of the strainer is 25 meter, under steady, uh, steady state pumping the drawdown. Uh, by the way, drawdown is a term applied no, to the maximum, maximum lowering of the groundwater table caused by pumping or the artesian well. So, the drawdown at the well was found to be 3.5 meter and the radius of influence was 300 meter. So, let's calculate the uh, discharge. So, like I said kaganiha, be careful if unsa ang kanang yang aquifer. It, if it is confined or unconfined, it's because lailahi lahang kanang equation or formula. So, under steady state condition in confined aquifers, mo neto ang gamiton nga formula. So, we have a QS, no? Uh, QS is equal to 2 pi, uh, 2 pi times KB times H2 minus H1 over LN R2 over R1. So, using the kanang steady state condition uh, formula no, sa confined aquifer. So, before that, no, before na to siya simplify, no, let's kanang uh, identify sa, no, sa mga given. Identify sa na to mga given. So, first, we have here the uh, hydraulic conductivity which is 50 meter per day. And then, we have the base or the kanang thickness sa itong aquifer which is 25 meter. And then, we have here no, the uh, R2, ang R2 na to or the uh, radius of influence, no, 300 meter. And then we have the R1, 
or the diameter no ang diameter nato so diameter since a uh, radius man ang pangita so uh, ang given is 30 cm no diameter at ang kwaon yung radius so ang um, kanang ang um, radius or ang diameter rather or the r1 is 30 cm. So, ato siyang i kana convert into meter. So, we have point, point 0.3 and then ang radius ana is uh, 0 0.15 mauna siyang na R1 na to is 0 0.15 meter. So, draw down no is kana tong draw down is 3.5 meter. So, simplify no, uh, simplify pambutang mga given and then we have here the answer. So, ang answer na to is uh, 3,616.54 cubic meter per day. No, ang ma-produce ana nga, ang discharge ana nga well. So, another example. So, a tube well in confined aquifer has a diameter of uh, 0.3 meter. For a certain yield, the radius of influence is 400 meter. If all the conditions remain the same but the diameter of the well is uh, doubled, then the percentage increase in the yield discharge is. So, since it is kana, ano man, no? a confined aquifer, still we will use the kanang steady state condition in confined aquifer. So, again, first, no, let's kana. Uh, identify sa the, uh, the given. So, for instance, daw na akay K na 10 meter per day. And then, akay B, thickness sa aquifer na 2 meter. And then, na akay piezometric uh, water level, no? H2 is 12 uh, meter. And then, the H1 is 8 uh, meter. So, na akay radius of influence, no? Nga, uh, 400 or the R2 na 400. So, naakay ka na diameter no, nga 0.3 or ang radius ana niya is the kanin 0.15. So, let's input no sa formula. So, 2 pi times the K or the K, the 10, 10 times 2 times dayon the 12 minus 8 over LN over 400 over the 0.15. So, naatay, uh, kanina well, no, is na ay 63.72 cubic meter per day. So, naapa siya, naman siya kanang condition, no, if the condition remain the same, but the diameter uh, of the well is doubled, no, so, if the diameter is doubled, no, naatay diameter na 0.6 uh, since i-double man, Ang radius ana is 0.3. So let's input no this uh, radius nga 0.3. So we have the kana discharge no ma 69.85 cubic meter per day. So uh, let's kana subtract no uh, 60 uh, 69.85 minus 63.72. So na asila difference no discharge na 6.137 cubic meter per day. So, if uh, we will get, no, the percentage ana, no, na actually 10, ay 9.68 na uh, percent nga ka ng difference. Before ko magpadayon aning example 3, so I just want to remind you guys, no, if naabot mo o ka ng paminaw or watch aning na video, uh, no, so I just want uh, to give you some hint. No? So, uh, naradiri sa mga example lang ako ang mga problem ng magawas exam. So, it's either I will change no, the values. So, that is why familiar ninyo no, kung saan siya pag-solve. Kay naradiri ah, no, i-pang i, i uh, change lang ako ang values no change lang ako mga values no or given ani nga mga problem so if uh ipamino gin ipamino gin ni mga video no uh, don't tell your classmates no especially kung wala nang tanong sa video so it's a hint na no nga ako ni hatag so nara diri sa mga problems ang mga sa exam no ako ra ning ipang change ang mga value so familiarize 
and familiarize no sa unsa pag solve no so study this uh, mga kuan mga example no mga related no mga example related nga mga problems ani nga mga example para maka answer ka sa exam so don't tell your classmate no naghatag ko og hint no it's a reward guy you watch this video no so it's a reward no? para makapasa ka sa exam so let's move on no sa example 3 so what discharge can be expected from a from an unconfined well having diameter of 3 meters if the drawdown in the well is 8 meters and the aquifer is saturated to 15 meters the coefficient of permeability of the aquifer is 55 meter per day and the radius of influence is 150 meter meters since no it's kind of confined aquifer so we will use this formula for un for unconfined aquifers so uh, first thing first no identify the the kind of uh, given no so we have the d the diameter which is three meter and the radius is 1.5 meter and we have the k no or the coefficient of permeability which is five meter per day and then the r or the r2 is 190 meter and then the h2 is 15 so h2 minus h1 is equal to s so we have here the eight meter for s so uh, since uh, we have no h2 is 15 minus h1 no so value na nila is 8 no so i multiply nimo so we have no the h1 na 7 so it is equal to 8 no so that is why natay uh, s na 8 so let's put that no sa formula so we have now here the uh, Pi times the k, which is 5 times 15 minus 7 over uh, ln 190 over uh, 1.5. So it is equal to 571 meter cube, no, or cubic meter per day. No, nga kaninga well, no, na siya discharge na 5,571.1 meter cubic meter per day. Now we have here the last example. So an unconfined aquifer covering an area of 50 hectare has a, has a hydraulic conductivity of 20 meter per day and a specific yield of 12% after a significant rainfall. A rainfall event, now the water table rises from 17 meter to 14.5 meter below the ground level. Assuming no obstruction and outflow of groundwater during the recharge period, the amount of groundwater recharge, recharge contributed by the rainfall in cubic meter is. So it's uh, unconfined aquifer again. So using this formula for unconfined aquifer. So solution again, the given at the area of 50 hectares. So na ana siya 500 uh, square meter. So na atay kana K or the hydraulic conductivity na 20 meter per day and na atay yield no yield na 12 uh, percent. And then atong H2 is uh, 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 which uh, where water table rises no na 17 meter and then atong H1 is 14.1. But since the required value is only no the rainfall rainfall uh, volume thus uh, atong pangitaon nag is ang V so to get the V na atay kanang area no na atay area 500 square meter multiplied no to no sa kanang height no or sa kanang uh, water no at water table nga mag rise so na atay 17 minus 14.5 times 12% so na ata 150,000 cubic meter no na volume sa tubig and uh, i think that's it no one na kanang last topic na to for kanang ABE 105 hydrometeorology so lecture 7 or the groundwater is the last topic no nga atong i discuss so that's it no so that's it so i hope no nga yun yung giwatch akong lecture video so gituyo na ako jud og kanang tawag ani gituyo na ako og record ni nga lecture no the last 
uh, lecture na atong di uh, atong i-discuss no dapat na to i-discuss it's because no kay i know if mag lecture ko dili gyapon mo mag dili ninyo makalimtan ra ninyo no i never mind lang ninyo so ako na lang siyang gi-record para anytime no uh, uh, ganahan mo amina or mag study ma recall ra ninyo or ma review ra ninyo so uh copy kay mag gun guys copy kay mag record no it takes time mag record no mas maayo pa siguro mag online class kaysa mag record kay copy kay mag record jud so i hope no ma appreciate ninyo and i hope mo pasar mong tanan sa ani nga course na kay copy ka ayo mag removal so ang ato ang deal is pag dili makapasar sa removal ma ay dili makapasar sa final sa tuta dili makapasar makapasar no ang grade sa finals mag removal ta so if dili makapasar sa removal so you know na no sa may tabo so i hope no na migaminaw mo or inyo ni gipaminaw ma lecture para makapasar mo sa exam so i think that's it and uh, see you on monday no during sa tong exam day so good night and have a nice dream. Bye.